Hello, this is Kev, and welcome to another Black Man Being Brutally Honest with Everyone video. If you like my stuff, please do me a favor and hit the subscribe button so you can get the latest from us. Also, if you like the video, hit like, hit the notification bell, and thank you for your support. Also, I would like to thank my subscribers for their support as well. It's a slow crawl to growth, but we're getting there. All right, um, President Donald Trump uh, has once again interjected himself and his presidency into the sport of football. In dealing with things that he seemingly always does with tweets. The tweets, again. And the first tweet states, the NF players are at it again taking a knee when they should be standing proudly for the national anthem. Numerous players from different teams want to show their outrage at something that most of them are unable to define. They make a fortune doing what they love. Yeah, we, we should stand proudly for the national anthem based on the freedoms that our brave men and women fought for. It's just that we can't use those freedoms. Uh, miss me with that shit. Yeah, what's the other one? Uh, here it is. Be happy. Be cool. A football game that fans are paying so much money to watch and enjoy is no place to protest. Most of that money goes to the players anyway. Find another way to protest. Spram, stand proudly for your national anthem or be suspended without pay. Like what, is he the NFL commissioner all of a sudden? I mean, he does have that snowflake in his pocket. And, and 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 let me break this down. Okay, first line. Be happy. Be cool. Uh, okay, whatever. Uh, a football game that fans are paying so much money to watch and enjoy is no place to protest. Okay, do the fans that don't mind the protest and understand the protest have any say in this? Most of that money goes to the players anyway. Yeah, and uh, um, and all those owners are just picking up the scraps after they pay the football players. The fuck out of here. Yeah, my favorite line to do, identify defense mechanisms. Um, find another way to protest. Yes, there doesn't seem to be a right way to do a peaceful protest since every time there is a peaceful protest to protest the injustices in our community and in our country that the cops come with riot gear in a very aggressive manner. Is there a right way to peaceful protest? Colin Kaepernick surely has proved that it isn't. And the final line, uh, stand proudly for your national anthem or be suspended without pay. Um, seriously, is, is he Roger Goodell? Well, based on how Roger Goodell looks in the media, every time he's asked about this, he has that snowflake in his pocket. So, I mean, shit, you know, the NFL, you know, I'm, I'm sure Jerry Jones would be in agreement too. Yeah, let's suspend him without pay for doing something that's totally harmless. Oh, wait a minute, it is harming me. It's harming my feelings. Yeah, turns out that Richard Sherman was right about these old plantation mentalities. Now, you know, just, 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 just a couple things. Like, number one, why is our president not worried about, uh, say for instance, uh, presidenting? You know, being our president. Like, 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 what you got against people exercising the freedoms that you swore to defend <laughs> as our president. I mean, like the freedom that gave you that podium to say that I would like to punch that guy in the face. And then you have people actually acting on it like there's nothing wrong. But he had the freedom to do that. But you know, you can't kneel during like, let me say this, the most irrelevant part to the game's outcome, the national anthem. If I kneel, if I stand, if I'm still doing my job, you shouldn't have shit to say something about it. Let me say that again. The most irrelevant part to the game's outcome happens during the national anthem. And, and, and let's just say what it is. Uh, you're, just, you're, just, you're just bothering a bunch of racists. That's all it is. You sit down. 
you, you, you sit down, you're, you're unpatriotic, you hate this country, you should leave, blah, blah, blah. Donald Trump has said all of this crap. And honestly, if people like Jerry Jones and, and our president Donald Trump keeps talking about it, all you're going to do is incense the people further. There, there, there's going to be major defiance. <laughs> Now, 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 for all those people that's sitting up here and saying stuff like, oh, man, why don't you go to your job and try doing what you want and watch what happens? Y'all just want an excuse to watch a football game. And that includes all them Negroes out there that's still, like, like that, that is against the protest. Y'all just want to watch football games. Just be man enough to admit it. You can't give up your little precious football for something a little greater than yourself. So if you're adamant about, you know, criticizing the protest, you, you, you're kind of a coward. What you worried about it for if it's not harming the next person? Uh, just put it this way. What do you call a non-black person that criticizes the protest? You call them racist. What do I call black men who criticize the protest? Much worse, trust me. Uh, Cause I don't know, I mean, people have the freedom to feel how they wanna feel, but I just feel some type of way every time I hear a black person trying to be conservative or trying to call themselves towing the line or playing devil's advocate or being fair in anything, and I do understand where a lot of that comes from. There's not enough outrage and hostility whenever a black person kills a black person. And I do agree with that. But, I mean, understand that these protests is rooted in who you are, if you're a black person. Yeah, a, a black person in America, although I doubt that racism doesn't have a US border. Okay, uh, power to the people. Just, just like use that freedom, use that freedom well. Because, you know, you might not get the chance to use that freedom again. I commend these players for being brave and standing up for what they believe in. But President Cheeto Jesus, please, concentrate on being a better president if that even is possible. <laughs>